In this Canvas Tips and Tricks video, we're going to cover how to import a Canvas course from a file. Typically, at the beginning of the semester, you'll just copy your content from the previous semester, and that's covered in a different video, which is linked below in the video description. Sometimes, though, we receive a course file from a colleague that we'll need to import into our course. Or you might work at another institution that uses Canvas and want to copy that course content instead. Either way, you'll need to have that course file downloaded onto your computer before following the steps in this video. All right, so if you're still watching, it means you already have your Canvas course file downloaded onto your computer, which is also called an IMSCC file. One important note is that you will never need to try to open this file. You just need to have it saved onto your computer and then import it directly into Canvas. If you try to open it, your computer will not know what to do with this file. Only Canvas can read IMSCC files. So once you have your IMSCC file downloaded onto your computer, go into your Canvas course where you would like your content to appear. A sandbox shell is just a blank Canvas course shell with zero student enrollments. If you don't yet have a sandbox course shell like this one, you can create one by clicking on Create a New Course on your dashboard. You'll find the button to the right. You may need to scroll down a bit to see it. Name your course and click Create Course. Once you're in your blank course, click on Import Existing Content to the right. Now choose the second item in the drop down list, which is the Canvas Course Export Package. Now choose your IMSCC file on your computer. It's likely in your Downloads folder. At this point, you can choose to either import all content or select some content from the IMSCC file to import. I'm going to select some content in this case. Usually, you'll choose all content. Now I'm going to select the option to adjust events and due dates. You do not have to do this if your dates are already exactly the way they need to be in your IMSCC file. But I like to choose this option so that I can remove all of my dates entirely. This way, when I'm adjusting the content, I know to manually add my due dates and I'm not confused by old dates or accidentally leaving the dates. Now click Import. If I've selected all content, my course will begin to upload immediately and I'm done at this point. If I selected that I wanted to select specific content to import, I am now prompted to select the content to import. Once I select my content, I confirm and my import begins. Hopefully, you'll get a nice green completed box at the end, which means everything imported successfully. It's possible you'll get a yellow box instead like this, which indicates there were some errors in the import. Don't worry, often these errors are actually really helpful and they'll show you if there are broken links or missing files in the course import that you need to manually fix. It isn't actually a problem with the import, it's a problem with the original course, and importing your content gives you a chance to address those missing items. You'll be given a link to the broken content by opening the errors list. Now here's what you'll see if the content imported correctly with zero errors. Either way, your content will be available in your course, and you can verify by clicking on Home and inspecting your course. All right, so that's it for this video. Today, we covered how to import a Canvas course export file 
also known as an IMSCC file. We also covered how to select specific course content to import and how to troubleshoot any errors. That's it for now. For other tips and tricks, go to hartnell.edu slash pdc slash canvas. And remember to like this video and subscribe to get notified about new instructional video content. Thanks for watching.